Welcome to our next video. We're talking about tax incidence and elasticity. Tax incidence together with, in comparison to the elasticity, to the concept of elasticity. So there are four different cases. Here we take a look at the extreme elasticities with regard to the demand function and here with regard to the supply curve. So demand curve can either be totally inelastic or totally elastic. For example, if the demand curve is this way, it is not totally horizontal, which is the case here, it is totally vertical. Perfectly inelastic demand means that the demand curve is totally vertical, which means that if the price goes up, there is no fall in the quantity demanded. What's an example of this? Diabetics, people who suffer from diabetes, have the problem that if the price of insulin rises, they don't, they, there is no way to change. There is no way to change the demand, the quantity demanded of insulin because they are totally dependent on this single good. So, if there is a tax, if there is a tax on this single good, the supply curve changes to the left. So the supply curve changes to the left and what's the result? The result is a higher price. So if you impose a tax of say two dollars on a single good, on a single quantity of a single good, then there is an equal rise in the price. That's very important. There is an equal rise in the price. So a tax imposed of two dollars leads to, a, to an increase of two dollars in the price of this good. Which means that the buyers pay the entire tax. The buyers pay the entire tax because the price they have to pay for the good is just as large as the tax that was imposed on the good. Which happens in the case of a perfectly of a perfectly inelastic demand. With a perfectly elastic demand, it's, it's uh, different. Sellers pay the entire tax. The supply curve shifts to the left and the sellers pay the entire tax because the quantity goes down, the quantity falls, but the price does not change at all. So revenue, revenue is just reduced here in this case. That's the case of perfectly inelastic demand and perfectly elastic demand. If we take a closer look on the supply curves, the elasticity, the supply elasticity, it can be perfectly inelastic, the supply can be perfectly inelastic and it can be perfectly elastic. If it is inelastic, it goes this way. So if there is a tax, if there is a tax, sellers pay the entire tax and if there is a tax with regards to a perfectly elastic supply curve it goes to the left which means it goes up if you say to the left or if you say up it's the same so it means this way because like it's maybe it's easier here to understand here to the left is the same as up right okay so it means the buyer pay, buyers pay the entire tax if the elastic, if the, if the supply curve is perfectly elastic and it's to the sellers to pay the entire tax if the supply curve is totally, is perfectly inelastic. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.